call to order the uh, uh, September 18th, 2018 meeting of the Board of Trustees of the Batavia Public Library District. Would everybody please uh, stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Jan, would you call the roll, please? Roger. Um, here. Bulata. Here. Beachman. Here. Garrett. Here. Anders. Here. Mackenzie. Here. Smith. Here. All right. Thank you. Comments from the audience? Seeing none. I will vote for a uh, motion to approve the consent agenda, please. I so move. Thank you. Second. Thank you, Diane. Uh, we need a roll call for this. Okay, Blodgett? Aye. Kalada? Aye. Beachman? Aye. Garrett? Aye. Henders? Aye. McKenzie? Aye. Smith? Aye. Yes. All right, thank you. Um, I now need a motion to approve the agenda for tonight's meeting. Thank you, Diane. I second. Thank you, Jenny. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, great, thank you. We will start with the financial reports. Uh, a couple, just quick comments and then an apology. I didn't catch this. The actual financial reports in the uh, materials are this current year. They're not last year's. So you've got July, August today. So I apologize. I didn't catch that going out onto the agenda item. So uh, early in the year, nothing really uh, significant um, in the way of expenditures, nothing extraordinary. Um, auditors finished field work. Uh, the week of Labor Day, and they um, talked with one of them today. They haven't found anything to come back with and no further questions at this point, so we're waiting for first draft. So if there aren't questions. How quickly do they usually turn that around? Uh, they finished field work about the 8th of September, and I'll have uh, first draft uh, Friday a week. Oh, okay. So they... They do all the report writing as well. I mean, it's our data, but they actually put it in a format and whatnot. And then I'll need to use um, some of the statistical tables to do the management uh, analysis and uh, MDNA management. I forgot what the beast is for. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so then uh, they will be here for the board meeting in October. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Did we have any? President's report. Uh, the only item we have down here is the schedule for the public hearing and the special meeting, uh, November five, six, or seven. That we had. Uh, well, I had proposed the six, but that's also election night, and uh, oh, at least one trustee wanted to order hand to be the six. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, the room is available all three of those nights. So it really, I thought I'd just let the board decide what worked best for your schedule. Well, I Access my records. Oh, wait. On the 5th. Okay. You're going and, on the 5th? And the 6th. So Getting a mail-in ballot, though, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm good for the 7th. If, if that's... Oh, wait. Getting what is the 7th? That's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday. Are you in town? I have choir practice. What is the schedule for that meeting? <clears throat> That would, yeah, that would be a public hearing, uh, which is very brief on the amended budget and appropriation. Okay. And uh, and then the special meeting, the only agenda item is the approval of the uh, amended budget and appropriation. So, uh, okay. Yeah, both of those probably uh, would not take very much time. Okay. So depending upon how many. We need at least four people. No, and depending upon how many people come in, uh, how many of our constituents come in to right. discuss it with us or to make comment, mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, then we have a quick meeting mm -hmm. and then we're to close all that out. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm fine with either Monday or, or Wednesday. Anybody else have any preference? I'm good Monday or Wednesday. <coughs> That's fine. That is fine. If it's all the same to everybody else, I guess I'd prefer Wednesday. Yeah, that's fine yeah. with me. Well, we don't have to have it at 7. 
I mean, it could be, you know, what is your choir practice? 715? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're okay. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. It, could, it could be a 630 if you want. Yeah, why don't we do 630? Is that okay with everybody? It's fine with me. Okay. Okay. So okay. six thirty on the seventh. So it sounds like we have. Wait, are we supposed to have committee meetings though on the fifth? I'm sorry, on the sixth. Um. So that's the first. Tuesday no, no, normally we would, but given the election, we could, we might, we wouldn't necessarily need need to have committee meetings. I did, yeah, I just didn't know if that were, we were supposed to do both, the special well, meeting and the committee meeting. The special meeting really. Uh, is more important, I think, because we need to uh, capture all the revenue. But uh, we do need to have uh, finance for sure in October. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, oh wait, this is th this is November. Yeah. Okay. So, but we'll have right. We'll have to maybe in October for sure. October, and then we won't have them on the fifth, on the sixth, and we'll have the special meeting on the seventh. Right. Yeah. And if we need to, I guess we could do committee meetings that night if we had some compelling reason to. If, if we need to, I mean, ones that are, would normally be on that Tuesday. The uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in hours. October. The the, the November that? board meeting will be the <laughs> approval of the levy, but uh, the uh, significant piece of that actually takes place at the October meeting with okay. like the truth and taxation notice. So. Okay. All right, so it sounds like uh, we're in agreement that we'll do it Wednesday, November 7th at 6.30 for our special hearing, our public hearing and special meeting. And can I, as a, just, because it is a special meeting and we're changing the time and everything else, can we have a, a, an actual formal action? Okay, so can I, I need a motion from someone to have our public hearing and special meeting on November 7th at 6.30? Thank you, Rich. Second. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, you want to do a roll call? Or? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Uh, good news, comments from the board. Uh, I was just going to say the parking lot, parking lot looks like they're doing a great job out there. It seems like they've... We, we have a punch list yet, but uh, not a big one. Uh, but they did a good job. Nice job. It looks good. Yeah. Um, the rain slowed us down a bit, but they, they caught up in the end. and uh, <laughs> So we, we lost a week in, in the process. Uh, but they did good work. Uh, there are a couple uh, odds and ends they need to deal with. Uh, we moved the <coughs> crosswalk on the avenue back so it wasn't, the, so the paint marks weren't in the middle of the sidewalk, which is discouraged by the federal regulations. Sure. And, uh, uh, they were supposed to, when they finished the painting, uh, remove the old marks. They have a technique for doing that, and they, they haven't done that yet. So, uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, one of the uh, one of the roller guys, uh, when he was filling up the drums with water, drove up on the sidewalk and left all kinds of oil uh, mm -hmm. from his machine on the sidewalk, which uh, we're going to make them clean up because it just is not good. <laughs> oh. We're not quite sure why I that particular operator chose. Just happens. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's one of those things. So. Yeah. Is it, but, but those, are, those are not huge things. Okay. Yeah. The parking lot looks good. The, the, uh, we're very pleased with the parking lot. That's good. Anybody else have any uh, comments from the board? Um, my son and I spent some time down in the uh, youth services department playing with all the new manipulatives, manipulables, um, with a bunch of other kids. It was very popular. Um, so well done. They're, they're really great. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay. Um, correspondence communications, I didn't see any, did I miss anything? No, but I do have four uh, items uh, to uh, report orally. Okay. Uh, one is we have uh, two uh, question and answer information sessions scheduled relating to, you know, to educate the public on the referendum uh, issues, uh, totally factual uh, meetings. Uh, one is on uh, October uh, 7th at 2 in the afternoon. That's a Sunday, October 7th, 2 p.m. Okay. 
and one is Thursday, November 1st at 7 p.m. So we had different times the day and the week. And uh, uh, we'll provide some information about the uh, referendum and answer people's questions. And, uh, yes, Where will the meetings be? I'm sorry, both meetings will be in the founders room here at the library. Uh, What's the second date on that one? On Thursday, November 1st at 7 p.m. Thank you. You're certainly welcome to attend those meetings. Um, I'm being scheduled for a surprising number of, uh, <laughs> of presentations and, and times I'm not available. Others are being scheduled uh, to handle those. So we'll, we'll be covering a lot of different organizations in town and uh, different functions in town. And so that's sort of exciting. Good. Um, this uh, next April 2nd, I believe it is, is the consolidated election. We have uh, three trustees are up for election uh, at that time. Um, so uh, the uh, election packets, actually today is the first day that one can collect petitions, believe it or not. Uh, hardly seems we haven't even had the November election yet. Uh, so anyway, uh, that is that is coming up, and uh, we will have um, those packets available um, in the next day or so uh, for the public and for those of you that uh, may wish to uh, run for election in uh, April of uh, tw uh, 2019, which includes uh, Andrew and Rich and Kate. Well, three three-year terms are up for election, so. Um, like, it's, like I say, it's hard to believe it's coming up. So it seems like just yesterday we had it all. Uh, you may notice something different about the tables. Uh, Kathy and her uh, role as uh, interim facility services manager proposed that after about 17 years we refinish the horribly scarred tables that we've been using and they look great they look good. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that when I said I was like yeah. I better put my yeah, we found the good, on a nail like the contractor we need coasters remarkably good work on these tables yeah they look beautiful they just they, they smell like new tables and they look new too so thank you Kathy for that and then uh, surplus property we're catching up on uh, it turns out not all the surplus property that the board declared surplus property have been disposed of, so we've been in the process of dealing with that. And uh, as part of that, some of uh, older computer, computer monitors, some of them got donated to other libraries, and we have a thank you from the Plano Community Library for uh, receiving some of that surplus property from us. So uh, uh, another public library in the state is getting good use out of things that uh, we no longer need to use here. So. Those are my four All right, thank you. Uh, all right, directors and librarians reports. Well, uh, the, the, one, the one key thing I've got in the, the written report is related to the new Lyceum Lecture Series, and uh, Stacy is not able to join us this evening, so I will mention that uh, on the Monday, October 22nd, uh, we will have uh, one other board meeting between now and then, but our guest speaker will be the executive director of the Churchill Center, Daniel M. Myers, who will speak about working to end World War II. And I think it's going to be a fascinating topic, and uh, uh, you, if you're interested in attending this, uh, you can uh, reserve uh, tickets through the reference desk uh, between now and then. And uh, uh, this is our first and I see him uh, for a while now, so we're very pleased to offer that. And uh, that really is all that I've got. I've been you know, main, mainly busy with, uh, you know, talking to the public about referendum issues. Right? So. Sure. <laughs> what um, personnel changes? What is, what is a substitute librarian? And if she has a full-time position somewhere else, why would she stay on the payroll here? Well, partly because she loves it here, but oh. uh, we were not able to offer her a full-time right. position. But uh, we, we have several uh, different substitute employees. 
at different levels. Reference librarians, we have clerks, we have library assistants, and uh, even some pages. Uh, and these are, um, in most cases, uh, former employees who uh, are willing to fill in uh, on an on-call basis if, uh, if their schedule permits. And, uh, so they're basically, you know, already trained and know the procedures here, and we're happy to have them come back in. And sometimes the schedule works, and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, you know, we have a pretty active cadre of substitute staff. And uh, she was. Uh, I believe it's easier administratively that way to get them in the payroll. It is. Well, we, we in fact, uh, that's really the only only uh, way we can do it is mm -hmm. to keep them active and. Uh, uh, we do have some uh, general guidelines about how often a person should, how many you know, times a person should work during the course of a year to sort of stay active, that sort of thing. And, uh, it works very well for us. So we've even at times when we needed subs that we didn't have enough, uh, we've actually recruited just for subs. And a lot of uh, librarians like to, uh, and other, other, uh, for other positions as well, like to get their foot in the door. You know, get some experience here, and uh, so when we're looking for a, uh, a position, part time or full time, uh, they they're we're already working here. You know, on, on some level, and that uh, we've uh, hired some good people that way as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, hi. I will comment that I will apologize for my voice. I'll be short, brief this evening with my laryngitis, won't you uh, make you listen to this very long, but <clears throat> a couple things I did want to mention was our ice cream social open house the beginning of the month was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a great time, we had a nice turnout. Um, we had a lot of people commenting about how it was just nice to come and, and they enjoyed a variety of activities. Uh, Pat Leonard in our promotional services, this was kind of her brainchild uh, for this event for live, National Library Card. We had done some things off and on during uh, other times of the years, but we thought we would try this. And I think they registered 19 new cards that day, um, but we had an opportunity to share a lot of information with people. Um, I don't know, Joanne, if you want to say anything about it, it was fun. It was, an, it was a really, really wonderful event. Um, we had an information table set up up here opposite uh, Mark Twain, and it was a beautiful day, so I got to sit outside all afternoon. Um, uh, many, many people came in, and when they came in, we gave them one of the car magnets and a, a small flyer with uh, facts about the referendum. And then I was available to answer any factual questions you know, that people had. And some people did. And you know, it was interesting. Some people didn't know there was a referendum on the ballot. Uh, some people were confused about it. So I mean, it was a, a wonderful day. Fire truck was here, and the drummers were here, and um, free ice cream. And uh, it was a wonderful day. Can I ask a question about the referendum? Sure. Um, okay, so we know for one referendum, it's confusing as to voting yes or voting no. And somebody just asked me last night, because I was explaining the, the referendum to them, are we supposed to vote yes if we want to, if we're voting for the referendum, or do we vote no? Because. You know what I'm talking about? This all the best, I think the best way to answer that is, and, and, and Joanne actually came up with this, this idea on the staff level, we can provide factual answers, we can't provide direction. Well, no, so, no, it, but, it wasn't that. It was because of the confusion over the right. home rule. Well, one, way, one way to respond to that related to us is that is to basically state what yes means and what no means. Yes. Is that what you're presenting? Okay, but yes means... If you're, if uh, we, the way that we would say it, say it, Joanne, the way you would say it. Because <laughs> so this came up quite a bit at our curriculum nights, we knew this came up at our. Uh, so, <coughs> um, I can't tell you how to vote, yes. but a yes vote would pass the referendum, a no vote would defeat the referendum. Okay. And that's, you know, if, if you read the ballot question, that's what your choice is. Okay. There. So, that's pretty much how we answered that question well, when it came up. 
Um, so all told, we did, Amanda and I and several circulation clerks have also been going to some of the curriculum nights we offered to come to all of them. Three schools, three elementary schools in Batavia took us up on them. And so far, to, and we've been signing up library cards at those events too and sharing information. And so far this month during National Library Week, what we've done at curriculum nights, open house, and through the desk, um, they've we've registered about 130 new library card holders. Wow. Yeah. And so we're very excited about that. Um, and at the schools, a lot of times it was the children. The parents had one. And we had several at the school that I was at Hoover Wood one night. And we had several new families who had just moved to the area and hadn't got to the library yet. So uh, it's been a it, it's been a pretty exciting month for that, and we really appreciate the opportunity to go to the curriculum nights. And then one, most everything else is in my report. Uh, but one thing I do want to just mention: you asked last month about we had our staff development day at the end of August, and what kind of I mentioned some of the things that we are doing that day, and I just wanted to to um, come back to the board and just thank you for the opportunity to, uh, that you give us to have a day like that where we can close the library and staff can really focus on uh, some learning and education and team building. And a um, couple that we take a survey at the end of the day, we ask people to rate the different components of the day and tell us you know, something that they learned and high points and so just a couple of the remarks from staff feedback include, I learned a lot about our harassment policy and different ways to diffuse or halt harassment situations, which is exactly what we wanted to come out of that component. And we'll be taking some of the information that we worked on in small groups and creating more um, guidelines for them to help to refer to. So in six months when they forget what everything was or it's in a year, they can go back and refer to some of those. Another big area, big uh, goal of that day is team building, and we had several different ways we were doing that throughout the day. And um, one staff member said the methods chose to, to the methods used to choose seats and dining partners were very unique. Um, I but I appreciated the nudge to sit with other staff that I really didn't know, and so we purposely set up two kind of fun activities that directed people to different tables so that they weren't combined with just their departments or their friends and kind of nudge them. That was a very nice word I thought they used to kind of get out there and, and to um, uh, communicate and to build some of those relationships. And we heard that comment more than once, that while they were kind of hesitant about that when they walked in the door and they saw that, they really appreciated that opportunity. And we also did um, something different a little bit. Stephanie, our, our new cir newest circulation manager, came up with an idea of a, I don't know if you've heard of Kahoot, it's an online game. And so we could play as teams, as, as a table of five people were on a team, and we asked different questions about different departments. So each department manager submitted questions about their department with uh, four answers and then each team got to try to guess who what the right answer was guess is the operative word because <laughs> these were impossible <laughs> questions. some of the questions were pretty were pretty um you had to you had to know or pay attention to reports or something yeah, like that video games that we buy last year or something yeah like and, like and, and you know one of the comments <laughs> about that was that they were amazed and how much all of our departments do, and how much work is done, and how many checks Joe writes was one of the questions. <laughs> you know, and how many people have attended YS programs during the year, and, and how many rolls of toilet paper the library uses in the year. And so they were just amazed at some of the different things. And, it, and it, another comment was, it was really helpful to learn about the other departments in such a fun and unique way. So. Uh, thanks for that opportunity. It was a great day, and uh, we really enjoyed it. So thank you. That's all I have. Unless anybody has some questions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, committee and official representative reports. We did not have any committee meetings last uh, month. We did have the Utopia Library <laughs> Foundation. Did they meet? Uh, they yeah. met, but I was not there. And I, I was uh, 
Uh, in the state of Washington for a wedding on okay. that day. Uh, but there was a there was a short meeting and uh, um, actually I've, I've seen the board that board president several times uh, because she's involved with Bulldogs Unleashed and all we ever talked about was Bulldogs mm -hmm. Unleashed. So okay. I think it was just sort of, you know, uh, a little bit of a business meeting that Yeah, and she said it was really short. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, friends of the Batavia Public Library, Joanne. The friends did meet, and a um, couple of dates. Uh, the 1st of uh, December through Christmas will be their holiday book sale. That's when they put uh, gift quality books in the corner of the library across from the uh, checkout desk. And the 8th of December is the vintage sale, which is held in this room. And it's all collectible books, um, older books, but also <coughs> really beautiful coffee table books or you know, kind of unusual kind of books that they can take out of the collection downstairs and, and bring up here. So those two dates. Um, let's see. They also, uh, George distributed the library wish list to the, um, to the friends, which are the grants that uh, the friends will make to the library for different departments wishes that they would, they would like to have. They'll act on those in September. Right. They just get this, look it over, and then in the uh, in this month's meeting they'll be voting on, on what to make a grant for. Um, let's see. Um, most, uh, very notably, the friends donated $3,500 to the uh, the citizens for the Batavia Public Library, which is the uh, group of citizens who are promoting the referendum. So that will help them pay for mailings, that will help them pay for yard signs, um, things like that. And an individual member of the Friends Board uh, made a donation personally of $1,000 to the Citizens Committee. So, so that's it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. one last thing. Sorry. No, okay, go ahead. September book sale. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, one thousand and seventy-eight dollars. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, link. Nothing to report. We actually meet this coming Friday to okay. review uh, the last full audit for uh, Link. And then we'll meet again in November, uh, at which time uh, I believe they'll be distributing uh, they'll be distributing funds. Okay. Uh, the ATV, Rich. Uh, the only thing we did uh, was again talk about football, uh, <laughs> and uh, the second thing is we'll be having a meeting probably Monday or Tuesday of next week at the Finance Committee, which I am a member of and we'll be talking about the budget for next year. Okay. So that's about it. All right. Future agenda items. Uh, we have a report from George on that. Um, a lot of stuff in October. Yeah. <laughs> October will be a very busy meeting for us. Okay. And then our special meeting we discussed is going to be on the 7th at 6.30. And our regular meeting is the 20th. Right. Anybody have any questions on the agenda items? Uh, next meeting or events? I would just like. What's that? Okay, you said our next. So we're having our special public hearing and special meeting on November seventh, right? Six thirty, and then our next regular board meeting is November twentieth. Oh, no. After the October. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. We have the October. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Many meetings and board yes. meetings. Yes. The one then the special <laughs> meeting. Then the November. Okay. That's what I was confused about. Okay. Thank you for clarifying, <laughs> for clarifying that for me. Yes. All right. Uh, and then Band Book Week starts uh, this Sunday. So everybody oh. read something that somebody doesn't want you to read. Oh, that Two sounds minutes. good. I was wearing bling related to the band. Nice. <laughs> Take a chance to read something that somebody Thank else doesn't want. Thank you for the like. <laughs> I've been asking Lisa for it. So Excellent. Sorry. All right. Um, does anybody, I guess that's all I have. All right. I, I need a motion to adjourn. I so move. Thank you, Diane. Second. Thanks, Kate. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Uh, Mark Perry's murder.